Uncertainty has gripped the stock market. Uncertainty over tariffs, the risk of an all-out trade war with China, and the potential impact on global growth. Stocks do dropped at the opening bell, and they kept drifting lower until the close. The sell-off was broad. All 11 S&P sectors were down. All 30 Dow stocks finished in the red. Here are the closing numbers. The Dow Jones Industrial Average fell 473 points to close below 26,000. The Nasdaq slid 159, and the S&P 500 was down 48. Bob Pisani has more on today's deep declines. Trade tensions were once again top of mind for Wall Street today. Stocks came under pressure because U.S. Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin said the Chinese were reneging on key aspects of the trade negotiations. That's woken up investors to the fact that the odds of a tariff increase this Friday are much more real than the markets were expecting, even with the vice premier of China coming on Thursday. Still, the market is just off its historic highs because sentiment has still remained positive around four key factors. First, the Federal Reserve's policy pivot. They don't expect rates to be raised by the Fed again at all this year. A trade deal is getting done. Many still believe will happen and that it could happen before the end of June. And finally, China's stimulus program, which is creating the perception that China's economy is bottoming. We also have a strong U.S. economy. So if we have no trade deal, if one of those four goes away with the higher tariffs, that might force investors to lower their global growth estimates, to lower their earnings estimates for 2019 and 2020. Many are also starting to worry now about the knock-on effects of the trade wars. Just look at the consumer staples today. You have companies like Conagra and Kraft Heinz and Molson Coors. They all sold off. None of them have any really direct revenue exposure to China. So why are they down? Well, because the global growth picture is looking a little bleaker the longer that the U.S.-China trade wars keep up. So the market might gain 100 points if the S&P if there's a trade deal, but if there is no deal at all with much higher tariffs, well, the markets could drop another 300 points very quickly. My point is the risk is to the downside, not the upside. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Bob Bassani at the New York Stock Exchange.